Twitter is a phenomenal source for traffic. And I would know because I've been using it to make a lot of money, specifically with a pretty interesting combination of using paid Twitter ads and an organic strategy blended together. They come together perfectly and it results in lots of money. In fact, over the last year, I've spent probably about $40,000, $50,000 in Twitter ads and have brought back hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales to my businesses from that investment. And what I'd like to do today is live, while we're here recording in front of my live audience, I am going to place an ad and this ad is gonna become the beginning of a step-by-step -step case study that we'll be doing together live. Each week, I'll be checking in on the channel. I'll be showing you the progress of my ads, of the strategy, and of the money we are making using it. So if you've ever wanted to learn how to do Twitter ads, and if you'd ever wanted to learn how to do ads to build a subscriber list and make profit, then you're gonna watch this entire video to the end and you'll want to follow up all the way through this case study as we do it together live. So let's get into it. And by the way, if you are interested in the show notes from this segment that you'll see, I have a, a Google Doc. If you'd like to get the link to the Google Doc so you can download all the notes and the step-by-step -step instructions on doing this, you can get this for free. All you have to do is subscribe to our Ingeniosity newsletter. It's 100% free. And this Google Doc and all of the notes from today's show my gift to you for becoming a free subscriber. I'll pop the link down below so you can get access to that. But what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be following along with this step-by-step -step process. Some of the steps I've done in advance to make this go a little quicker, but let's walk through it. So the first thing we're going to do is we need what's called a lead magnet that we're gonna give away for free. So this is something that is going to benefit your ultimate customer, the person that you want to buy your products and services. You want to create something free that you can give to them that has a benefit and has value and will attract them to want to learn more from you. And this is a valuable piece of content. It's something that, again, is tailored to who the ideal person is who you want to buy your stuff. Now, this could be anything from an ebook, an email course, a checklist, a step by step guide a compilation of different resources. An example is I'm gonna be giving out this document as a lead magnet. And if you want the document, you can download it and many people will. And this is a prime example. This document I'm showing you right here in and of itself is a lead magnet, okay? Now my favorite type of lead magnet of all time by far is a course. And you can actually have AI build you a course and create your entire lead magnet. I can even build you an entire lead generation engine. If you'd like to learn more about that, we've got a video on the channel that goes step-by-step -step how to actually create a course and use it as a lead magnet. We'll link to that down below in the description so you can check that out. But you want one of these and you wanna be able to give it away, okay? The second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make an account at a service called Hype Fury. Now, you do, Hype Fury is a paid service, but you'll see at HypeFury.com, um, this is a service that we are testing and, and what Hype Fury does, how we're using it, does many things, but the thing that we're using it for is to send out messages. We wanna be able to send direct private messages to people that comment on our Twitter posts. We're gonna go on Twitter, we're gonna make a post, and we want a bot that will privately send private messages to the people that follow my Twitter and have commented on that post. And Hype Fury will do that for us. I have many other features for posting and resharing and other things, but we're not gonna be using any of those other features today, okay? And then if we go into Hype Fury, you can see here, let's go over here to Auto DMs. So see here under Earn, we'll go to Auto DMs. And this is the feature that we are going to use. The one that you want to use, you just click Start a Campaign. So we click start a campaign and that's how we do it. Okay, so that's the next step. After we've got our lead magnet created, we're going to upload it online. Again, it could be just the link to Google Doc that you create, a Google Doc that you could create. It could be something you've uploaded to your site. It could be a video you've put on YouTube. Whatever it is, you want to get a link to it. Then we're going to come over to Hype Fury and we're going to use Hype Fury to send that to everyone who comments on your Twitter post, okay? 
So we're gonna go over to Twitter. We're gonna make a post. And this is an example. I just made this post before we went live. Looks like this. And every time somebody comments on this post, Hype Fury is now gonna send them my lead magnet, okay? So it's gonna be two steps. The person will comment on my post. Hype Fury will send them a link, which then gets them to opt into my mailing list in order to claim the lead magnet, okay? So, so does that make sense? That's how the steps work. They comment on my post, they get sent a link to go opt in and get the lead magnet. Okay, so I'm gonna end up getting a couple of things here. I'm gonna get a follow on Twitter. So people are going to actually follow me on Twitter in order to get the lead magnet, that's step one. Step two, they're gonna have to give me their email address in order to get that lead magnet. And then they end up on my email subscriber list. So I now have two ways to communicate with them and market them about my products and services. Now let's go back here and we're gonna do it. Let's do a quick overview of this. Okay. Oh, and here's this, the page here that talks a little bit more about the product. So then we're going to go into Hype Fury. We're going to actually create one of these auto DM tweets. We're going to do that. I'll do that live with you in a minute. Okay. Then we're going to run ads using the Twitter ads manager to put it all together. Okay. What I did, if we go in here to my post, this image right here was made with AI. You can use any AI tool, any AI image generation tool you might wanna use. You could use Midjourney, you could use ChatGPT. Either way, you just go in and use one of those tools and you generate an image to go with your tweet, okay? This image, it took probably just, I would estimate it took about two minutes to make this image. This, Im this particular image was made with Midjourney. And if you need help with how to generate images for ads, we have training here on the channel. So I'll pop a link to that as well down below where you can get the training on how to make image ads using Midjourney um, or using Dolly it with ChatGPT, okay? The next thing is this ad here. What I did, the text, is I wrote this text inside of ChatGPT. So I just went to ChatGPT and I described the lead magnet. I described the benefits that someone would get when they download the lead magnet. I then told uh, ChatGPT that I wanted to make a Twitter post that made people have to comment in order to, to claim it. And that's it. I had ChatGPT write that ad. So the ad that you saw on your screen that we're just about to place an ad on, that post was written by ChatGPT, okay? And then you will see here, we can tie it all together we go back over here and we go over to Hype Fury. So we go back to Auto DMs and that's this campaign right here. Okay, so this was done just a little bit ago. That's the post that I just showed you. And you can see it's talking about, we've had three people respond to the post so far. We talked about the people that they've sent the DM to and this is what it says. It just says here, thanks for the reply. Here's a link to the guide as promised. And then there's the link. And then if the user goes to this link, let me show you that, they gotta put their email in and they'll get the guide. So those are the steps. And so now we've got our post made. So all we've done here is we've come to Twitter. We make, we're gonna make this post actually using Hype Fury, okay? So if we go start a campaign and then we compose it right here. And then here's where you, paste your text from ChatGPT. Now, you, whether you use ChatGPT, you could also use a tool called Claude from Anthropic is also really good at doing this. And then of course there's Google Gemini. You could use any of those three are great ways to get your ad written, okay? Then we're going to attach our image to just upload media and then we go to pictures. I'm just gonna take, let's put that guy in there, <laughs> okay? And then down here is where you write what you want people to read, the, the direct message, the private message you want them to receive when they comment on your post, okay? So you could say, thanks for the comment. Download your guide here. And then you would put your link, all right? Just like the one I showed you, okay? Now, I'm not gonna hit create 
Also here we can say, when do we want them to send that? And that is if they reply to the tweet and what should they say, right? So like in this case, I think we said newsletter is the keyword. So you'll notice in the ad, it says in comment newsletter. See that right there? So we, we take that keyword phrase and that's, whoops, there. That's what we put here. So anytime someone comments on this post that we're making right here, it's gonna respond back and trigger the automation. Make sense? At this point, we would post this, which I did just before recording this, and you can see the example of that right here. Okay, so we now have a post made. This post was made using Hype Fury. The final step we wanna do is we wanna put an ad on it. And I wanna explain something here really quickly about the ad that we're placing. I did it this way on purpose. So we have this tweet that's on my public timeline, and it's gonna get organic, natural, free traffic. Okay. If it goes viral, meaning lots of people like it, lots of people retweet it, lots of people engage with it, then it's gonna get more and more organic, free traffic sent to that post. And I'm gonna get free subscribers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to supercharge this process. So I'm gonna go place an ad and we're gonna, I think I'll start today. Let's start, I'll spend $50 per day. We'll come back, we'll see what kind of results we get. But the beauty of this is I'm leveraging this, right? Because I'm not just getting subscribers from my paid ads. When the paid ads drive retweets, they drive likes, they drive engagement, then it's leveraging so that I get free traffic on top. Think of it a way as multiplying my money. Many people will place Twitter ads and they're not public, they're not organic, they're not posted on the timeline. They're like a, pro, a special, when you make an ad, typically they're not shown on your timeline. So we're gonna do this in a very specific way. I'm gonna show you right now and well, let's get the ad placed. So as you can see, here's the post, it's on our uh, timeline. So if we go into Twitter ads manager, come over here and we're gonna say create campaign. The kind of campaign that we wanna make is engagement. Engagement would be somebody commenting. So when they comment on my tweet and say newsletter, that is engagement. So that's what we want. Next, campaign name. So let's say, I'm just gonna give it a name that I can remember and I'm gonna target affiliate marketers today. That's gonna to be the targeting we're gonna be using. Here would be your funding source. I'm on billing terms with Twitter, or you might have a credit card there, but you just select how you're gonna pay for your ad. We're not gonna put a campaign spend cap. We're gonna leave that, and we're gonna go next. Okay, so now you make your campaign. The next step is called an ad group. So you have your campaign, and then in the campaign, you can have multiple ad groups. Okay, and, uh, and so in this ad group, we're gonna just say letter reply. I'll just call this newsletter reply number one. Here, we're gonna give it a $50 a day budget. Starting immediately, run indefinitely. Leave it set to auto bid. We can leave it here. We can leave all of these set to the default settings. Measurement options, you can ignore these. These are advanced, you don't need to worry about that. Placements, I'm gonna leave it set for all the default placements, okay? Gender, this is up to you. Depends largely on your product. If you have a product that only women are going to buy, then select women. Likewise, if it's men, select men. For me, it's, it's any. Age is probably a little more important for me. I usually advertise to people 25 and up. You can target by language, which you don't necessarily have to. You can uh, leave, that, leave that blank, which is what I'm going to do. Location. So right now I'm targeting United States. I could target many other countries. I could even try to go worldwide and then put English language up here. So I only get English speakers. But right now I'm gonna go United States and leave language targeting blank. And that's for this test today. We could, I've done this. It's been interesting results targeting only people on a iPhone, that's iOS, only on an Android. You can even target what kinds of phones or at least what operating system the phones are. You can also target only desktop. I'm gonna leave all of these, just target everyone, okay? Again, I also don't, you don't need to bother with this. You can target people that are on specific devices, uh, on specific phone carriers. Down here, we could say only target premium subscribers, which is uh, like people that are paying for 
a Twitter verified account. We also have custom audiences. So this works, this works like Facebook, right? So we can have actually lists of, for example, list of subscribers, list of engagers who engage on my sites. I'm gonna select them. Also, we can come over here and we can put in keywords. Now, this is interesting because what Twitter will do is it will target all of these things together, okay? So it's gonna target people who visited my website, people who have are on a list. Also, they'll tag people that I put in for these keywords, okay? So like here, I can put affiliate marketing, I can do affiliate program, and then we can keep doing that. So let's see, you do things like ClickBank, okay? And then also we can come down here and let's see, I'll do, let's just do this. I'll do just affiliate, okay? Let's try, so I'm targeting kind of the make money online crowd. We can also do lookalikes of followers, which I'm not gonna do. We can do interests as well. Come in here under business and we can say advertising. And we can say entrepreneurship, I'll do that. Conversation topics, I'm gonna skip that. Also, we can target people who engaged with our tweets, okay? So I can say, and we can also target my followers, okay? So I, I'll hit all those things. Let me see something here. Let's just see. And you'll notice the audience numbers update over there on the side. So we'll go ahead and do those. Here, optimize targeting, okay? I highly recommend you turn this on. It's gonna make the audience much bigger and it makes, it might make your Twitter ads perform less efficiently at the beginning. But over time, and it can take up to a week actually, but over time, this is gonna really help. You'll notice when I toggle this off, the audience size goes way down, okay? I turn it on, how this works is it's almost like Twitter wants to create kind of a retargeting audience where it's gonna say, or a look, what's called a lookalike audience, where it's gonna say, hey, I see all these people that you're target, targeting. I think all of these other people over here are also gonna be interested in the same thing. And you let Twitter's AI try to figure out who to show your ads to. And, it's, it, and in a way, you're giving up some control to Twitter. And they're gonna target different pockets of different kinds of people on Twitter. And they'll take the ones that are responding better and show more ads to them. And they optimize over time. So it helps you have a campaign that has a lot longer shelf life and it can really optimize and do well in the long term. First couple of days, I often find that when you have optimized targeting on, it will it doesn't perform super great, but you have to be patient and give it time. Okay, with all that done, we're gonna say next. And now it's time to make our ad. Now, luckily we already made our ad. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say use existing ad. And this is the trick. This is where the trick is of how we're getting organic combined with paid. So again, you click use existing ad and you're gonna come over here to this drop down. And you're gonna say organic tweets. There's our organic tweet right there. So that is the one that we want to target. And then we're going to say select ad. Okay. We can give our ad a name and we're gonna give it a category. Then that is it. You do not wanna check this by the way. Twitter seems to encourage ads to hide the ads away from the organic public timeline. And, and that's what this will do. You do not want that, okay? And now you can see a preview on the side. You can see that it's gonna promote that tweet. We'll go next. This is just gonna confirm all the details for your ads. And we say launch campaign and boom, our campaign is launched. You can see it here. Now, one of the things that I really like about Twitter is that if your account is trusted, your ads can go live like that. In fact, I've had ads where within two minutes of me pushing submit, I have traffic flowing. It's pretty cool. Most of the other platforms have a long delay. So when you place an ad, you could be waiting days before your ad goes live and you actually get traffic. But with Twitter, it can happen really darn fast. And I think part of this is that it depends on your track record with Twitter. So I think if you're a brand new advertiser with no track record, you might still see a little bit longer wait times. But as you prove yourself that you're doing good stuff, I think they, that's partially why I have such a, uh, um, quick times to when ads go live. And so now what's gonna happen, an overview is, Twitter's gonna put a paid ad on my organic free post. When people read that post, they're gonna want my lead magnet. 
And in order to get the lead magnet, they're gonna comment. They're gonna have to first follow my account. First, they're gonna follow me on Twitter. So I get a new follower. Then they're gonna have to comment on the post newsletter. Then they're gonna get a private message that will come to their private message on Twitter where they can click and then go opt into my newsletter. After they've opted in, they will get uh, an email with the with the the lead magnet that we are giving them. That's the process. And so now the ad is placed, <laughs> fingers crossed. You guys can wish me some luck. And then next week on the next video, which will be a video in a series. So if you're watching this later, then you'll possibly be able to see the entire series. And we'll link to that. We'll link in the description below. If we're posting this later after this case study is complete, you'll be able to see all the episodes in these, this case study. But we're gonna go all the way through the process of testing this out, adapting, adjusting. You might see me make multiple ads. You might see me try completely different strategies and we're gonna be totally transparent. You'll see all of the results as we go through this. But the purpose is to get us subscribers on our list who ultimately end up buying our stuff. Okay, that's the whole point. And this model can work with almost any kind of business you could imagine. And so if you'd like to get more videos like this and you'd like to get notified the next time we put a case study episode out, then you'll wanna tap that red subscribe button that you see right down below. Give it a tap, make sure you hit the little notification bell and turn your notifications to always on. That way you always get notified. So when we go live and we're gonna do the next episode of this case study, you'll get notified so you can be there and be part of it. Subscribe down below. And with that, we're gonna wrap it up for today. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. So for those of you who are not yet a push button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Pushbutton AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top everything you need from your domain name to your logo to videos to audio lessons an entire course that you can sell as your own a 30-day email sequence and it writes you can send a daily email for 30 days all written by ai and a whole lot more it writes your sales page if you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you and it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, Push Button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, we'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call and then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our Push Button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. You'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works, outline your new course for you, and hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business.